Hey YouTube, this is probably the last video that I'm going to be doing for tonight, but I want to come on here and say, um, and say, talk about a Bible verse in the Bible that, that I read and I just want to talk about this and elaborate on this and I also want to say, I also want to put out some sort of disclaimer here or some sort of some sort of disclaimer or if disclaimer the right word I don't know but some sort of I don't know the word but I just first I want to say that there's a difference between there's a difference between Say it again I just okay. Hello YouTube, how y'all doing? My name is George White. I'm the man. <laughs> that was Mr. George, YouTube. He said, hey. Mr. George White said, hey. <laughs> I, I'm not telling him, I wish he could be my boyfriend, but he can't. Mr. George. <laughs> that was Mr. George, y'all. That was Mr. George White. That was Mr. George. But I want to come on here and say, um, oh yeah, Mr. George was saying hey to y'all. But I want to come over here and say um, the last message that I have that I got from this Bible verse. But first of all, before I get into this Bible verse, I want to say that there is a difference between, I feel like there's a difference between not understanding because God, because there's a lot of things that I do not understand in the Bible, but I feel like there's a difference between not understanding because you won't meant to un you weren't meant you won't meant to understand that or not understanding because God wasn't ready for you to understand that yet or God wasn't ready for you to understand that or not understanding that because of it wasn't meant for you to understand it because God didn't want you to understand it versus I think there's a difference between that and a different and a difference between just like I don't know just Oh yeah, a, yeah. A difference between that and a difference between um a difference between that and a difference between um just not understanding because the reason why sometimes we cannot be understanding some things in God's word is because maybe it's not meant for us to understand. Maybe God, my brother says, told me like this. My brother told me like this. Some things in the Bible, it just isn't meant for us to understand. And I believe that. I do believe that sometimes the reason why we don't understand certain stuff or don't understand it in God's word is because it's not meant for, maybe it's not meant for us to understand. Maybe God doesn't want us to understand it or not, isn't ready for us to understand it at that time. But then you also, on the other hand, got the type of person that the Bible describes, which I feel like, I feel like I can be this type of person sometimes. And this is something that, I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like I can be this type of person sometimes. But I'm going to ask God to help me with this because I can be really confused about the word of God, but. Well, I'm not going to say I can be this type of, I'm this type of person sometimes, but this is what it says. And I'm not saying this message to condemn anyone because I'm not here to condemn anyone, just here to spread the word of God and spread the message. There's, because there's a lot of work that I need to, to do me and God need to work on because there's a lot that me and God need to work on because well a lot that God has to work with me about because there's a lot of things that I know that I'm just not I don't feel like I'm spiritually equipped or I feel like I'm doing that God isn't really pleased with it. but I feel like the most important thing is just being honest and open and vulnerable with the Lord. Like, honest and open with the Lord and asking Him for His help and relying on His strength. This is what the verse that I want to read. And I, I think I've said this in another video, one of my other videos. The Bible verse is Matthew 
Matthew chapter 13, Matthew chapter 13, verse 19. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and don't understand it, when they hear the word of the kingdom, but they don't understand it, then comes the wicked one, which is the devil, which is Satan, and catcheth and catcheth that which was sown in his heart. I'm going to read that one more time. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, then comes the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. So basically, what I got from this is that when we hear the word, when we hear the word, but we don't understand it, then it's easier for Satan to come in and take that word from us. It's easier for the devil to come in and take the word which was sown in us. And that's why I, um, that's why I feel like... Um, I feel like, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I feel like that when we don't understand, now there are some things that it's not probably not meant for us to understand, maybe because God isn't ready for us to understand that yet, but when we hear the word, when we hear the word, but we don't understand it, which I feel like, Everything isn't meant for us to understand. I do believe that. I do feel like that. If God doesn't want us to understand it, cause there are some things that we just not gonna we just not gonna understand because maybe it's not in God's will for us to understand at that time or to understand. But you got um you you hear the word, but on the other hand, you don't understand it. So when you hear the word, but you don't understand it. It makes it easier for the enemy to come in and take that word which was sown in you. Which was sown in you. It makes it easier for the enemy to come in. Because it says. When. And as I was reading this verse also. When I was in time of God reading this verse. There came another verse. I feel like God spoke another verse into my head, into my mind. God spoke another, God spoke something in me. And I believe it comes from Proverbs 1, 5. And that says, in Proverbs, I believe that's where it came. I think that was because I, go, I Googled it. And I think it did say Proverbs 1, 5. But y'all know, the, y'all can Google it too. It said, y'all can Google it too. And Google will tell you also, but it says, in Proverbs, hold up. No, I'm going to go to the scripture. I'm going to it. It says in Proverbs 1 5. Yeah, yeah, it is Proverbs 1 5. Proverbs, Proverbs 1 5. Proverbs 1 5, chapter 1, verse 5 in Proverbs. It says, A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. That first part came to me when I was reading this. And I don't know whether I feel like, well, I feel like God was trying to tell me something about this I feel like God was trying to tell me that um, the reason that the enemy can come in so easily and take away the word that which was originally some originally sown in us or the reason why the enemy can come in and take the word away that was sown in us from God or that was the reason why the enemy can come in and take the word that was sown in us is because even though we hear the word, we don't, we don't, um, we don't, we don't, um, understand it because
we um we not seeking wise counsel or we not increasing our learning we're not like trying to learn or seek to see what that actually means like if that makes sense what i'm saying but i feel like the reason why the enemy i feel like the reason why that it's easy for the enemy to come in and take, and I never thought of it like this. I never thought of it like this, but I feel like the reason why it's easy for the enemy to come in and take the word away from you that was sown. The reason, I feel like the reason why it's easier, it's so easy for the enemy to come in and take the word away from you that was sown in you is because you don't, because we don't like increase our learning about that topic in the Bible or we don't seek understand like I don't know how to explain it but as I was reading this verse in Matthew Proverbs 1 5 that I just read to you came and I feel like I really do feel like Matthew chapter 13 verse 19 and Proverbs 1 5 have some type of correlation I feel like God was trying to tell me something about those two verses I feel like they are related or linked or in correlation to one another in some kind of way but in some kind of way I feel like they're in correlation to one another but basically Lord correct me if I'm wrong but basically I believe why it's so easy to, for the enemy to come and take the word that was originally why it's so easy for the enemy to come and take the word that was sown in you, that was given to you by God, is because we are not like increasing. We are not make. We are not increasing. Uh, we are not increasing our learning. Like we are not seeking to understand that thing in the Bible. Like we are not seeking to understand understand it whether it is sit like god i don't know how to explain this but the whole thing the whole message to wrap this up is what what i want to say is that from this bible verse basically what i got from this bible verse is that when we hear the word of god when we hear the word when we hear it we hear the word but we we don't understand it and again again i want to say there are some things just not meant for us to understand at the time because it, it god wasn't ready for us to understand that or or maybe it's not meant for us to understand because god don't want us to understand it or understand it at that time and there's a difference but like basically what I got off this verse, basically what got, I got off this verse, Matthew 13, 19, is that when we hear the word, but we don't understand it, when we don't understand it, or understand how to apply it to our life, basically when we hear the word, but we don't understand it, then it makes it more easy. It makes it easy for the enemy to come in and take that word from us because it makes it easier for the enemy to come in and take the word from us because it's like it's like um I don't know no other way to put it but that's what I got from that verse as I was reading it it came to my mind like when we hear the word but we don't understand it it makes it easier it makes it easy for Satan to come in and take the word that was sown in us it makes it easy for the devil to come in and twist the word and take the word from us because we don't understand the word. And some things it's just not meant for us to understand at the time because God didn't mean for us to understand it at that time. But you just got to ask God to give you understanding of this if you want you to have understanding of this. That's what I do. I said, Lord. I pray for understanding for this. I said, Lord, Lord, help me understand this because I don't understand this. And I feel like there are some things that God not ready for me to understand yet. But that's what I got from this verse. To sum this all up, Matthew, this is what I feel like God showed me tonight. Was This is what I feel like the Lord revealed to me or showed to me. And I feel like it's important. The Lord showed to me tonight also. I feel like that it's important to increase our learning and seek seek um 
to to seek um God. I feel like the Lord showed me like too it's important to seek Him and to seek His Word. Even just you know go to other Bible verses or seek wise counsel when we don't understand something, so that the enemy can't just come in and take the word from us. But that's what I want to say. That's what I believe. Why Proverbs one five and Matthew thirteen verse nineteen. I believe that's what God was trying to tell me. These two verses are in correlation because this is what I believe God was trying to tell me. That the reason why, I mean, that it's important to, I feel like God was trying to tell me that it's important to increase my learning or to to seek knowledge or wisdom. Like, increase my learning. Like, seek, like, there's something that I don't understand in the Bible to seek um, to increase my learning by well, um, to increase my learning and seek wide, like, wise counsel to increase my learning whether that's like you know going to other Bible verses and seeing the meaning of that or you know it's just increase your learning try to find out what that means when you don't understand it by seeking it in the word of God and also going to wise counsel like Proverbs 1 5 say and I believe the reason for this that it has something to do with one Matthew thirteen nineteen is because when we don't understand something, I feel like God wants us to learn what something means, whatever it is in His Word, what it means. He wants us to when we don't understand that thing in His Word or that verse or whatever in His Word, He wants us to increase. He wants us to learn and seek and find out what it means, whether through wise counsel, like Proverbs 1 5 say, or whether increasing our learning by going to other scriptures in the Bible that can help back that verse up, or that can help help us get a better understanding, because when we don't understand God's word, when we hear the word, but we don't, when we don't understand it, it makes it easier for the enemy. It makes it easier for Satan to come in and take the word that was sown in us. It makes it easier for him to take that out of us or to take it away from us because we don't understand. And that's why I believe the Lord was trying to tell me that I need to increase. I need to increase my learning so that the enemy cannot take certain messages or words from me. And... um. Please leave in the comments down below what you think about um, this topic. And the whole message is, the whole message that I want to say is that, well, the title that I'm going to give this, or the whole message, the whole message is that when, um, when we, the whole message is, when we don't understand, it makes it easy for the enemy to come in, it makes it easy for the enemy to take our seat, if that makes sense, to take what was sown. When we don't understand, it makes it easy for the enemy to take from us. Like it makes it easier for the enemy to take what the seed that was sown. It makes it easier for the enemy to. It makes it easier for the enemy to take the word away. If that makes sense, but um, leave your comments down below or what you think about this topic. But I'm not saying this to bash me or anything because I'm not, not perfect. I'm not perfect, and there's areas in God's word that I struggle with, and that I'm still asking God to help me with, and I'm asking God to help me with, and um. Have a blessed day. God bless you. And good night, beautiful people. Hope this message blesses and encourages and inspires someone. And have a great day. God bless you, beautiful people. All you beautiful people. Adios, amigos.